Great to have you with us. Now, more than 150 cars are currently stranded at Yeji. This is stemming from the closure of the Bwipe and Yape bridges. The development is worsening the woes of travelers to northern Ghana, despite many interventions introduced by the Roads and Highways Ministry. Last night, one more ferry was taken to the Yeji crossing of the Volta Lake, which has increased in traffic. This brings to them the number of ferries to four, currently transporting passengers across the lake. The latest additions have, however, done little to reduce the plight of travelers. Daniel Techi is a journalist who joins us on the line to tell us why. Well, uh, we will be bringing you that update from uh, Daniel Techi. And we understand the Deputy Minister for Roads and Highways is scheduled to visit the EAG crossing of the Volta Lake this morning we'll be bringing you the latest on all of those issues um more than 150 cars are currently stranded at yeji as we were saying now there was a closure of the bp and yape bridges and the development has worsened the woes of travelers in northern ghana despite many interventions introduced by the roads and highways ministry last night one more ferry was taken to the yeji crossing of the volta lake which has increased traffic this brings the number of ferries to Four currently transporting passengers along across the lake. The latest additions have, however, done little to reduce the plight of travelers. Daniel Techi is a journalist who is joining us on the line to tell us why. Daniel, why are the cars still stranded despite the fact that we have four ferries at EAG? Well, uh, as you rightly said, we have four ferries at EAG as of this now. The last one landed just yesterday, which is yesterday. Um, the problem, as it is now, is the landing site of the various ferries that we have here. You know, there is a one tunnel, a tunnel that the Pantu or the ferry has to use as and when it reaches the shore. But because of the problems that we have now, they have relocated some part of the shore that they think they can land so that the cars can get on board. But uh, the water level now is receding, and as it stands now, their sites are not appropriate. Some cars get stuck as and when they are trying to get on board. Mm. As it stands now, uh, the two ferries have just set off to the other side of the lake. The other one is also uh, trying to get uh, land well so that the cars can get on board. The one that came yesterday, which is bigger than those that are currently here, don't even have a place to stand now. So as it stands now, it is packed at a different place altogether. It mm. has been packed at different places altogether. So if I'm to understand what you're telling me, out of the four ferries that you have available, you're only able to use two? Yeah, we are only able to use two as it stands now. And the third one, as it stands now, is trying to maneuver to get a place to stand. All mm. in the name of a proper landing bridge that they don't have. They don't have a proper landing site. Now, before this came up, this, the, the closure of the repair and EAP bridges, there was no need for any extra landing bay. What was there? There, there was. There is a need because the Akrade, we have a ferry called Akrade Ferry before the Nana Bessimuna and the one that was brought currently. The Bessimuna is the oldest one that we have here. And the the map or the docking site is different from the rest that we have now, those that have been added. So all the landing sites that we have are those that are built or that are suitable for the academy, which is mm. the oldest one that we have here. So mm. those that were brought currently, they are docking or where they have to land should be designed in a separate form. Okay. Now, it should be um, designed in a separate form. So it makes it very difficult to let the cars get on board. So what are travelers saying about the current situation? The travelers, as it stands now, they are all lamenting because they don't see the reason why all this should happen. And one interesting thing is that uh, the, there is a water taxi that only, uh, it takes only passengers. But for all this one, when this problem occurred, the water taxi has been parked for the past three days because the captain that is to man or operate the water taxi that takes only passengers has been transferred to the old ferry that got spoiled for some years back, which was repaired three days ago. So the water taxi, which is supposed to take only passengers, is not working. It has mm. also been packed because there's no any captain to operate it. Right. So passengers are stranded here. 
Now, and cast you are stranded. We, we understand, um, Daniel, that the Deputy Roads Minister is scheduled to visit Yeji and inspect the crossing. Has he arrived? He hasn't arrived yet. The, the conversation that we had with the DCE, the one in charge of the district, he said they set up around 4 a.m. this morning from Accra. So we are expecting that by 11, 10 to 11, they should be here. So that right. he will come and assess the situation himself and also give his recommendations. But have the authorities been saying anything at all about the latest developments, the lack of landing base? Yes. Uh, I happened to speak to the DC this morning. And all that he's also saying is, it's lack of funds that is uh, bringing all this problem. Because... Uh, Voter Lake Authority, they have to come down here to just have a look at the landing site of the various ferry so that they can design a landing site for it. But they have not been coming. And the local mm. authorities here too, uh, they can't take their own authority to maybe use any funds to develop such a landing site. Unless those authorities in uh, Akosomo come down here. So mm. what the DC told us this morning was uh, they also tried to see if they can do something just to improvise. Right. So that they can, yeah, look, they can get a landing site for the ferry. Did he say how waiting. soon? Did he say how soon he'll be doing it? Yeah, according to him, he said he just spoke to the engineers of the district so that they will come to the shore, look at the place, and okay. also speak to the operators as to where is the, the, the particular site where the uh, landing site has to be located. Okay. According to the DC this morning when I spoke to him. Right. Thank you very much, Daniel Techi. He's a local journalist in Yeji, um, where some challenges have arisen with the crossing of the Volta Lake to add up to the journey from southern to northern Ghana. You're still watching Join News Desk.